Hello, it's Bonnie from Everything Country CA, and today I have another Christmas thrift haul. It's probably the last one I'm going to do before Christmas. I've got a couple of displays coming up as part two and three of my Christmas series, and then I'll do the Christmas home tour for the uh, kitchen, living room, dining room, and hall areas with all of the displays that I've been working on. So I really appreciate everybody stopping by and all of the comments. It's just been great and it really encourages me to keep going. So today I'll show you my thrift haul and I got quite a few Christmas treasures. A lot of them I just couldn't resist when I saw them. So we'll start at the top. You can see there's a huge Santa planter there and he's got that beautiful face so I just couldn't resist that and the price on that one was I think it was $3.99 yeah $3.99 and then I got a snow globe I'm very partial to these snow globes this one was two dollars and I got three more of the little tea light candle holders those were 75 cents each. And another snow globe I got was this fella here. And this one is quite large, quite heavy, and definitely older. I'll bring it up to the front. Um, Santa's there in front of the fireplace. And lots of toys and things around the bottom. And uh, on the bottom, so that one was $3.99. It was probably made in China. And even the the uh, snowflakes inside look a little bit uh, darker. I think it is quite a bit older, this one. So, But anyway, I thought that was cute, and I love the snow globes. So I do have a few of those now, which I use in my displays. And then I got these two big Santas at the back, and they're just beautiful. I just thought, huh, they're going to add a lot to my displays. I am going to be working on a red and white enamelware display or decorating in, in the kitchen. So I thought these two would go really well. And I also uh, got them from a consignment store. So they were a little bit more. They were $8 each, but they're just quite large and and I thought they'd be a good um, background for some of the, the enamelware that I'm putting in the kitchen. And then on the right, I got another big cookie jar. So look at this guy. He's cute and he's got that beautiful Santa face. So he was $7.99 according to the sticker there. Sometimes I don't remember how much I paid for each of them. So I try to leave the stickers on the bottom. Um, I also got these two Santa mugs. Now these two I have already used in my recent display. They were $1.99 each. So I have my Santa mug display in the Ironstone Hutch if you want to take a look at that. And also I used in that display this guy and he's he was $3. And it's a napkin holder. So very cute and I believe that one is vintage. And then another thing I just found recently was this this guy. It's a little creamer. And when I turned it over to check the price tag and take it off, it actually says Avon 1984 on the bottom. So that's pretty cute. I thought that's that's great. And then the other thing I always look for are these older figurines. And so I found a few of these over the last few weeks. I just like the ones that have the darker reds. This one's a little bit brighter, but this guy here at the back is a darker red. And so that is more vintage looking. I got it for $1.50. He's really cute. He's got his presents at the back. And a little reindeer there. So I like using those darker ones, those darker Santa reds um, in my vintage displays like for the brown iron stone so you'll see some of those in my upcoming Christmas display with the brown iron stone 
And then these rocking horses are always so cute, very traditional. And that was a dollar fifty. And all these little guys here I got for I think they were a dollar fifty as well each. Yeah, it's a little bit high, but I kind of scooped in and went to a thrift store in Sydney pre-Christmas before they actually started really uh, selling some of their Christmas items, but they do kind of sell Christmas thrift things all year round. So I scooped in and got a few items that I thought were, were great. And I think one of them was this guy here, this Santa. And again, this guy, well, he was a dollar fifty, which is a great price for a big vintage figurine with his reindeer there. And then another one. Now this one was two fifty, so I'm not sure why, but it is a candle holder, and he's very cute. So I love all those. And then there's this one. Look at this with got the reindeer at the back, and there's a teddy bear, and then there's Santa. And that one was two fifty. So I think I'm done for my figurines. I think I've got enough now for some of my displays. I also went to a Scandinavian craft fair for Christmas and one of the ladies had made these little gingerbread guys. So they were $2 each. So I should have bought more. I was kicking myself after thinking, hmm, why didn't I get five of them at least? So anyway, I've got three, but. And then I also got this vintage pot holder and I thought he was pretty sweet too. So 75 cents for that one. And uh, kind of cute on the back. So, and then this nice Christmas tray for $2.50. So, I think that I did pretty well, and I'm going to be using these in some of my displays that are upcoming for Christmas. I've got a lot of things from last year, and I will be finishing off those two displays not too long from now. And then I'll be posting the brown and white transferware Christmas display. I've updated that with a lot of Christmas items. And also I've got my hallway display, which is going to be a bit of a surprise. I don't want to give away the surprise of what the theme is going to be there. You'll have to check back. And then also the kitchen is going to be done up with my red enamelware. So... Stay tuned, and if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I'd really appreciate that and hope to see you back soon. Thank you.